we shall see these final few moments here real quickly. Kelly Eco in athletic. Trade idea. Rockets receive Keldon Johnson from the Spurs. Spurs get the fourth pick. And in 2025, top three protected pick from the Rockets. Thoughts? Uh, uh, I don't like the trade with the 2025 what does Kelvin Johnson, Kelvin Johnson add to the current group? Kelvin, he he'd be the the lock. He'd be the starting small forward. Right. Does it move <laughs> the needle in terms of wins? I'm asking you. <laughs> Over under five. I don't think so. <laughs> okay. I mean, and the reason for if it was a a straight up swap, the fourth round pick for Johnson. I could be more open to that, especially if there's just no way for you to be able to trade up into the top three of this year's draft. But to also a, a, a track that 2025 first round pick, which they're, they're on to phase two, Chris, but you're, you're, you're still not really in the clear when it comes to those first round picks because of the Russell Westbrook, Chris Paul trade that happened in 2019 so uh, it makes little sense in my opinion to to that's not the correct move in my opinion all right next rockets get cam johnson from brooklyn the nets get kj martin jay sean tate the fourth pick in the 23 draft and two future first round picks including the nets own 24 pick which rockets have right now so they get that pick back no, I, <laughs> I wouldn't do it because there's a very good chance that that next 2024 pick is a really, really high lottery pick. Cam Johnson's, a, again, kind of similar situation. He's a nice player, but the only way you do that is if you think he has all-star potential. I don't, I, honestly, I don't know if he does. All right. Next, Raptors. Rockets get OG Ananobi. Raptors get K.J. Martin, Tari Eason, the fourth pick in this 23 draft, and a top six pick in the 25 draft. Top six protected or? Top six protected, yes. Hmm. So, oh, not, not he's top a Siakam, power forward? OG Ananobi. Correct. Is he a power forward or what, what position does he's he? A, he's a forward. I wouldn't call him power forward, no. I would that one. I think the I would still say no, and the reason for that is because then you're kind of. I think what there might be conflict with where you fit them in with Jabari Smith, and and they're kind of similar. They play in similar positions. All right, Justin says, and you know Cole and Justin say no. No salt says no. Uh, let's see. Let's. Put, I got a couple more here. These closing moments of. Throwback Thursday, the Houston Round Barbie takeover of the lunch break. Hawks. Rockets receive DeJounte Murray and John Collins. Hawks get KPJ, J. Sean Tate, KJ Martin, the fourth pick in this 23 draft. And and first round picks in 25 and 27. No. Did DeJounte Murray and John Con again, what what is the uh rationale behind it? Like they're on to phase two, just the DeJounte Murray and John Collins get you to be a championship contender. Well, Timber wants to win. Does he get that? That doesn't to phase win. Three? That'll get you 41 and 41, just like okay. the Hawks. All right. Next, Pacers. Rockets get Miles Turner and Buddy Heald. Pacers get Alperin Shingun, KPJ, KJ Martin, the fourth pick in the 23 draft, and a first round pick in 25. For Buddy Heald and Miles Turner? Yep. And they gave up Shingun, Shingun, KPJ, and KJ Martin, fourth pick and a first round pick in 25. Dude. That one's more intriguing, but hmm, it leaves it leaves holes at the point guard position, and then Miles Turner. 
is he worth punting on Alfred Shingun? That's the question that has to be answered, and in my opinion, that that makes it that makes me want to say no to that trade. Goodness, not Shingun. I think Shingun's potential for his ceiling is much higher than Miles Turner's ceiling. Mm, really, no salt agrees with you, Justin. Miles Turner and Hill would have made sense when Harden was here, but not with the young guys. And then the last one, Warriors. Rockets get Jordan Poole and Jonathan Kaminga. Warriors get KPJ, J. Sean Tate, K.J. Martin, the fourth pick in the 23 draft, plus Rockets' first-round picks in 25 and 27. No. To think with a quickness. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan, if you add Jordan Poole to talk about leading the league in turnovers, I don't, I don't, I don't buy it. Especially the draft capital you're giving up with the iteration of players, I, I don't buy it. No. Fair enough. All right, thank you very much to Slim Boss, Cold Sports, No Salt, D Skills, Tony M, and everyone else for chiming in. Your comments here on this edition of the Houston. Round ball review takeover of the lunch break powered by JME. I am KG Chris Gardner of the Houston Round Ball Review. Find me on Twitter at the HR Review. And Yanis, how can folks find you, sir, on social media? Yes, sir, Chris. Thank you as always. And people can find me on Twitter at Ayanis underscore five. And just a hint to Rocket fans like No Salt and Slim Boss and Tony M and Justin. Have a Let's Talk Houston Rockets this Saturday evening, 7 p.m. Central. Going to try something a little different. Going to give away something using some technology. Going to give away. Just tune in. See what the giveaway is. Mm -hmm. So a little teaser there. So this Saturday on the Houston Round Ball Review on YouTube, Let's Talk Houston Rockets. We'll kick around these trait ideas from Kelly Eco. And as always, thank you to AJ for letting us take over his show on the lunch break this Thursday.